kids, today we're going to learn about the three laws of motion. Law number one. The law of inertia. The first part of the law of inertia is an object at rest must stay at rest unless acted upon in an unbalanced force. This is a ball at rest. The second part of the law of inertia is that an object that is in motion must continue in motion in the same direction and velocity. This is an object in motion. The second part of the law of inertia, an object in motion must stay in motion. And the ball was going at a constant speed, so it wasn't changing in velocity or direction. So it just rolled to the hole. Law number two. Newton's second law shows the relationship between the force, the mass, and the acceleration of an object. This means the more mass that is in an object, the more force is needed to push it. Since a ping pong ball has less mass than a pool ball, if a cue ball were to strike a ping pong ball, it would have more force than the pool ball. Law number three. This law shows how every action has a reaction. All forces act in pairs. There is an equal and opposite reaction for every action. It means that every object that applies a force to another object will have an opposite reaction in the same size of force, which would cause the object that applies the force to go into the opposite direction than the object that had the force applied to. So for example, as you just saw in pool, the force from the cue ball was applied to the three ball, which created an opposite force which only slowed down the cue ball from going into the hole. I hope you learned about Newton's three laws. Okay, hello kids. Today we're going to learn about the three laws of inertia. Alright. At rest, unless acted upon. Law number one. That's two. Newton's second law is show if the, the cue ball were to strike a ping pong ball, more force would be applied to it than if the cue ball would strike a normal ping pong ball. Or, I hope you learned about Lisa. Now,